Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Tuesday, September 26th. Checking in our current solar conditions on spaceweather.com, our solar wind speed is at 311.8 kilometers per second with a density of 8.7. Looking at our sun today, we have three groupings, AR2683, AR2682, and AR2681. Now sunspot AR2682 is actually an old friend, sunspot AR2673, returning from a two week trip around the backside of the sun. Now this sunspot has decayed and does not pose any major threats to M or X class solar flares. Our KP indices is sitting at a 1. Our 24 hour max is sitting at a 2. Taking a look at the SDO, we do have a large coronal hole facing Earth. And according to NOAA forecasters, there is a 65% chance of a polar geomagnetic storm on September 27th, increasing to 80% on September 28th as a stream of high-speed solar winds bombards our planet's magnetic field. Isolated periods of moderate G2 class storming could spark northern lights in the United States as far south as New York, Michigan, and Washington. Mari? Thanks, Jake. Bali volcano eruption could be hours away after unprecedented seismic activity. Mount Gung last erupted in 1963 when more than a thousand people were killed. That event was preceded by an increased frequency in earthquakes. Evacuated people sought shelter in hundreds of village halls and sports centers and in the homes of relatives in more than nine districts. Authorities have urged people to stay out of the danger zone, a designated fire five to seven mile radius of the volcano. An increasing frequency of deep and shallow volcanic earthquakes as well as local tectonic tremors is an indication that magma continues to move towards the surface. The alert status of a gung was raised to the highest level on Friday evening following a significant spike in seismic activity. The head of the volcano center told local media that if tremors continued an eruption the first in more than half Half a century could be a matter of hours away. Also, in Vanuatu, volcanic eruption forces at least 8,000 people to evacuate Ambe Island. About 10,000 people live on the island, and those in the north and south are most vulnerable. The volcano's activity measure was raised to a level 4 for the first time over the weekend, which indicates a moderate eruption, and it's the second highest level in Vanuatu's volcanic alert system. There's ash, fire, stones, and lava being thrown out of the mouth of the volcano. The director of Vanunatu's National Disaster Management Office said, It sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, the arc of seismic faults around the Pacific Ocean where earthquakes and volcanoes are common. Back to you, Jake. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.